Hi guys, welcome back to Geisa Gami. So on this video, I'm gonna show you some basic tips to kite hastur, and I'm going to play as enchanters again. First of all, you need to keep distance with hastur. When you saw him, don't challenge him. Basically, Hastur can charge the tentacle since the beginning when he is very near with the survivor. So that's the reason why you need to do transition and move to the other side of the map, okay? Because when you are closer and closer with him, he can charge the tentacle faster. Okay, he changed the target, don't want to waste time on Andrew. Hastur is quite slow to walk, that's why he doesn't want to chase Andrew in the beginning because Andrew can use the skill, leave the building right away with the wasteman. Hastur is gonna trap you with the tentacle, try to dodge it because he is going to place the tentacle across the window or across the pallet, that's the basic placing for the tentacle. And like I told you before, go to the building without basement, that's the strongest location to kite especially when you are playing as enchantress okay so one more time he's gonna trap me with the tentacle right in front of me and i cannot dodge it anymore like the first time because of the location there is chair inside the church okay so as you can see here the hastur didn't bring confined space persona on this match okay and i'm still trying to kite her over this window oh my god another tentacle and he is coming to trap me. Lucky me, I have Seer in my team. And it could extend your kiting time. That's also the reason why Seer is also a top band on high tier and also on tournament. Okay, on this situation, the one that got banned is Mercenary. Okay, still try to chase me and this has to bring people and now I'm gonna be slower than before to walk and to fold the window. And having people means that Hastur can see me behind the walls, behind any obstacle, okay? Okay, again, as you can see, I'm gonna fall slower than before. And again, Hastur is gonna put the tentacle across the window or across the pallet to trap you down. That's the reason why you need to span the gap between him and you, okay? So, as you can see here, the third cypher machine is about to finish as well okay and now my mate here Bilber is gonna rescue me he is using Gravekeeper to rescue me okay so as you can see here the cypher left is only two okay it's really fast to be honest the cypher rush is always very fast okay and let me show you when he is gonna kill me very patient and wait until I got rescued and hit me right away with a tentacle. When this is happened, when the Titaner effect still happen, you need to split up. Normal hit to the Gravekeeper. He want to make sure Gravekeeper cannot rescue me for the second time. I try to run away very far away. We need to split up, remember? And I try to hide behind this. But as you can see here, this player is really a main hunter. And he found me. Amazing, right? from the other side of the map and then after giving hit to the gravekeeper he still can find me easily that's amazing i think i'm i'm not gonna find my first victim if i'm playing as hunter like the way this hunter play to be honest with you all okay there's only one cypher left and the perfumer is going to rescue me okay he has to gonna place some tentacles over here and there and put the keeper to make the rescue process getting slower okay a normal hit very nice perfume and keep being patient until the last cypher is gonna prime okay okay yep another titaner evac very nice very nice the cypher machine is almost prime i'm still giving curse to give a gap between me and Hastur okay so there will be a gap her female already got red circle on the titaner evac yay and the last cypher has been topped right after the perfumer already losing the titaner evac and hastur is keep chasing the perfumer for now and we are on the other side of the map to open the exit gate okay this is a very nice teamwork with random players and they both team up 
I guess that they do it on voice call because their priming time is really precise. Very nice. Very nice timing for their priming time. Okay, so first legendary rank match. We won this match. Let's move on to the second legendary rank match. We are going to face another Huster with the same beautiful ass skin. Okay, so I'm playing as enchanters on this match. And when I saw him from very far away, like this one, you need to keep distance with Huster. You don't want to be close with him. The reason why, as I'm telling you before, he can charge the tentacle really fast when you are close with him. And the longer you stay on the same location, he will trap you down, especially like across the window, across the pallet. That's the basic placing of the tentacle. Okay, so like on this situation, I don't want to fold over the pallet over there because he already put a trap with the tentacle over here. Don't go back to the location full of tentacles. It's better to do transition to other location. And like on this situation, you basically can dodge it when the timing is precise. And I also bring my left persona, which is the broken window, to get me another speed boost when I fold the window or fold the pallet. And when he put another trap, it is better to take a normal hit because there will be a recovery attack. A recovery attack means that you can do transition to other location, to safer location, not to a full location of the tentacles, okay? So remember, that's very important. Why you need to do transition when facing Huster because the last tentacle. Okay, on this situation, I'm expecting him to blink to me because he hasn't used any peeper and I click spam the curse when the hunter blink to me but well to be honest with you when the hunter blink to you sometimes it didn't work out I tried it many times with bloody queen with other hunter too that do blink to me and somehow the curse cannot get into them okay so actually I contain around more than 90 seconds after he saw me that's the reason why you need to keep distance with him just like my mate here that playing as helena and mostly hunter is gonna obsess with helena and he knew on this situation it is better to chase the cypher machine especially when there is mind's eye in the team okay so as you can see here do transition very far away since you saw hunter okay and again, it's also some trick that Hunter also like to use, which is Hunter mostly knew that Rescuer is gonna rescue, right? And then Rescuer is gonna waste the Titaner because they are not camping the rocket chair. And remember, Helena can see through the walls, through the obstacle. Very nice joke, right? Very nice joke. This match actually before the adjustment of the Helena, so before the dev team fixed his vision okay so like a couple days i guess or a week ago okay I, I told you before receive a normal hit is better rather than receiving a hit from the tentacle and again he wants to trap with the tentacle and his real body just like that just like that okay finally he took down helena and my mate here blubber is also actually a pro huster he has a batch a batch and actually he could have s batch but the waiting time on the rank match is crazy on high tier that's the reason why okay like as you can see here there is only one cypher left very fast and huster think that the lucky guy is gonna rescue but nope coordinator is right over there and can rescue mine's eye and coordinator still has the gun actually and the last cyber machine is about to prime so when the one that being chased focus on decoding you need to finish the cyber machine right away so pay attention to the notification chat especially when you are playing with other random players i only team up with my mate here so the rest the two players are random i also play without any voice call because i think most of you knew my phone is a potato that's the reason why you need to really pay attention to the notification chat the notification chat is powerful so pay attention to that you can check out the location of your friends 
as well on the mini map when they are sending the notification chat okay i think that's all for today's video guys i hope you enjoy it and have some insight from it don't forget to click the subscribe button leave the comment below leave your thumbs up and i see you again on my next video bye bye